so hello guys welcome back to the devops in channel so today i am going to share how to install splunk on ubuntu 22.04 lts so let's start with the brief introduction about uh, splunk Spl what is a splunk splunk is a powerful platform used to search to monitor and analyze machine generated data through way style interfaces it can be ingest and index large volume of data from various resources, uh, making it highly useful for, for IT operations, then business analytics and other data-driven uh, domains, uh, then security. Main component of the Splunk is uh, Splunk forwarder, Splunk indexer, Splunk search head. So what... Uh, what details, what uh, yeah, prerequisite required for this. So we need Ubuntu 22.04 LTS with minimum 2 GB RAM and 1 CPU. Access access with audio with pseudo privileges. Then port, uh, firewall port is 8000. 8, and we have to download and install Splunk on the Ubuntu. Let's start the hands-on lab to how to install Ubuntu uh, Splunk on Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, first of all, we need to uh, went on uh, Splunk interface, web interface and we have to create account here. So already I have created account here and I went to uh, and click uh, on free Splunk here. Now we have to click here free trial and page uh, download uh, downloads page. Now we have to <coughs> select here Splunk Enterprise. Uh, get my free trial here selecting. <coughs> here we have to choose uh, installation packages. So. Uh, we need dot db deb uh, uh, extension um, installer packages here so i have already installed here you, uh, when you are practicing you can download uh, download from here and copy the link for uh, uh, from here so as i have uh, already created one instance so that is in running state i am and i am going I'm going to uh, ubuntu machine and accessing the command like sudo apt update first the packages are updating here till now i am copying the bitgate command from here recently splunk uh, ver version is 9.2.2 that is one that uh, that one is updated version is here. So installing and downloading the Splunk with the help of this widget command. So we have successfully uh, downloaded here with the as you, you can see as you can see uh, with the Splunk version yeah, updated here. Now. We have to enable Splunk at our system. Oh, sorry, we have to install Splunk Enterprise using dpkg command. So I'm using this command. Sorry. Yes, we'll be small here. It will take one minute or two minutes to <clears throat> Uh, install the dpkg packages here It will take few seconds more to install the packages.
yes it has been completed here so now we have to enable splunk uh, at your uh, at system startup so i'm using this command start the uh, splunk we have to enter an uh, until 100% is here it will also take time because 100% we have to complete here view It's in finishing state for 100% done. So we need to, um, after entering above command, uh, we have to accept Splunk license agreement here. So I am entering yes for the, do you agree with this license? We have to enter yes here. And uh, <clears throat> Splunk software must create administrator account uh, during startup so we have to uh, create admin user name and password here and uh, so i am entering the admin uh, as a username here and creating password now uh, this will be the private uh, link to access but we don't have access to <coughs> uh, use this uh, url till now we can hit uh, ip address and uh, our public ip address of instance and port number And here we have successfully uh, login, uh, so successfully uh, enter to Splunk web interface. So we have to enter username what you, you have created or you have given in the uh, while using the command and password. So we have successfully log in here to Splunk. Uh, this is the dashboard of Splunk. We can now, uh, uh, here these are the, these many are the uh, find most apps here. That is search and reporting, then Splunk secure gateway, and then upgrade red uh, line app. <clears throat> Till now we have to check the current state of the Splunk uh, with the help of uh, this command. Oh, sorry. But we have successfully logged into the Splunk. That is not the issue. I missed one step here. Uh, no, I didn't miss anything here. So uh, we have successfully logged into the Splunk um, page web interface here. So for uh, if you want to uninstall and remove the Splunk enterprises on the Ubuntu machine, you can follow this step. Um, as I am showing in the video. So uh, now I'm concluding this video, like we have performed how to install Splunk on the 
Ubuntu 24.04 LTS system um, and mention to uninstall and remove the Splunk Enterprise completely from the Ubuntu using packages here. So thank you. Thank you guys.